diversity inclusion uh, may be the biggest outlying best factor in my life. Um, it has allowed me to uh, break down barriers and, and evolve as a, as a human being and mature and uh, and get to understand that, that the important thing in life is about the human being. Um, now, the reason that diversity has helped me is allowed me to break down those barriers about race, religion, um, language, cultures, and at the end of the day, the outcome of breaking down these barriers for me um, it extends to understanding that it is not about race it's, a race, it's not about religion, it's about the human being. The human being should always be the priority. It's not about a policy and procedure. It's, about, it's not about a colour, it's not about a location, it's about a human being. And human beings coming together for, from different cultures, from different races, I'm very passionate about it, I love to see it, uh, and like I said, the learning experience that I have been blessed with uh, through my journey, coming from a different culture, um, has been nothing short of amazing. Uh, like I say, I feel very, very blessed to, to, to be in the, the, the place in the, my life that I am right now. Um, you know, in terms of uh, how this relates to our team, um, we have many people from all over the world, from different races, religions, uh, countries, uh, different languages spoken, and our big thing is that we are one team. It's not about a release, a religion, a location, it's about our team and us uh, protecting each other's well-being through thick and thin. Every time we step out onto that field, the thing that I say is we will stick together through thick and thin, through the good, the bad, the ugly, it doesn't matter, we're one team. Uh, an example of that, many examples have happened through COVID where, um, you know, for example, our players may have uh, got the, the, the coronavirus and uh, our players have had to look after each other's well-being in terms of feeding them, uh, uh, you know, the, the mental to ca capacity to succeed through those times is coming from our little support groups. We have little support groups in uh, different uh, uh, areas of campus, for example, the village, uh, tier one housing, tier two housing, and we have little support groups there that are helping each other survive. You know, it's not about, you know, the the domestic players helping the domestic players survive. It's not about the internationals helping the internationals survive. It's not about the French helping the French, the Spanish helping the Spanish, the English helping the English. It's about men's soccer helping men's soccer succeed. Um, I think in my own life there's uh, several situations that I could talk about, but the two biggest outstanding factors would be the fact that um, two of my best friends, one, I was the best man at his wedding, he was the best man at mine, and he's Brazilian. <laughs> he's been to my house, I've been to his house, and through our college career we were roommates, um, and you know we went through his troubles and problems were mine, and my troubles and my problems were his, so it was almost like we, we halved it in two. You know, we shared the responsibility. Um, and again, it wasn't about his color, my color, his language, my language. We found a way to evolve and appreciate and love each other as human beings. The reason I sit here today and talk to you is because of a, um, a great friend of mine. His name is Ro Robbie Nicholson. Um, he is a, a Protestant Rangers supporter. And for anybody out there uh, that understands the kind of soccer, uh, dynamic of the, the, the kind of chaos that could happen in that old for a match. I mean, yeah, in previous years it's been it's been a face to face day uh, encounter. Um, different beliefs, uh, different religions, um, different teams, um, but we overcame those barriers. And at the end of the day, you know, two of my best friends are are you know completely diverse human beings from what my culture and my little bubble. Uh, entailed, but again, th those are two uh, two situations that in my life that I think are just outstanding, and uh, two people I love dearly, you know, and and probably if if it had to be race, religion, um, you know, opinions, beliefs, then that wouldn't have evolved. But at the end of the day, their respect for me as a human being and my respect for them as human beings, they broke down those barriers, and now I have friends for the rest of my life and good friends and good people.